You know, each year UGA, the University of Georgia, partners with North Georgia's Young Harris College in a three-day continuing education event for beekeepers. It draws beekeepers not only from the U.S., but internationally as well. The Monitor's Mark Wildman attended and has the story for us. Every year, beekeepers from around the state gather at the Maxwell Center on the campus of Young Harris College for an event designed to educate bee producers. We've been doing this for 21 years, and it's been in cooperation with Young Harris College and the University of Georgia Honeybee Lab. And what we're doing is we're teaching beekeeping not only to very basic beginners, have never been in a hive, to experienced people as well. This event has something for everyone in the bee industry, and it is very popular among beekeepers. We're talking about diseases, we're talking about uh, varroa mites, which is a huge problem here in the United States and worldwide. Uh, we talk about nutrition, we talk about how to extract honey, uh, we talk about basic biology. We basically cover everything they need to know as a beginner um, you know, from what a, is a bee to how to keep that bee, um, how to build the box to put the bee in, and how to extract the honey, and how to feed, and how to, you know, keep them alive, basically. Along with classroom sessions, the event brings vendors to the site to sell many supplies useful for beekeeping. And there are plenty of books and other resources as well. Honeybees affect all of our lives by making our world beautiful and the food we eat tasty. They say one out of three bites that we take as humans um, is actually there because of honeybees. And um, would we, you know, as a society die or, you know, humans disappear if bees disappeared? No, but our, our diets would be very bland. We would eat a lot of gruel. You know, when you go into the grocery store and see all of those fruits and vegetables, um, they're there because of pollination and predominantly honeybees. Another event held during the Beekeeping Institute is the annual Honey Show. This popular session brings many beekeepers together to learn how to judge. We've had a honey show, a competitive honey show at Young Harris Institute since day one. Uh, so this will be our 21st honey show. The, uh, the twist that we have is we have a certification program here. I actually certify honey show judges through the Welch Beekeepers Association. So the way we judge this show is the way the shows are, are judged in the UK and most of Europe. And uh, I wear the uh, traditional white coat and hat, and eventually all of my judges do as well, and we have a really big class this year. Not only do participants get a chance to shine their lights on other producers' products, they also get to learn about the industry as well. This is a teaching experience. I look at, at, at honey shows from two perspectives. I look at it not only as a competitive event, but also instilling good, good marketing habits. Over 150 participants took part in this year's Beekeeping Institute, and judging by the interest, bees are going to stay plentiful in Georgia. Honeybees, in my way of thinking, is probably the most economically important insect that we have in this country, and certainly there has been some concern the last few years about decline of those bees, and we are trying to educate not only beekeepers, but the public as well on honeybees. For the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Mark Wildman.